Beach. That's right, it is time for some AC. It is hot down here in the south and I can't take it any longer. So this should be a pretty quick swap. The evaporator seems to be fine, which is, you know, the little dealio that's inside of your box inside the car that everything hooks to. Uh, all that seems to be fine. So um, we're gonna try to uh, put all this together and charge it up and see if it works. So there's not really anything to cover on this. Everything just kind of bolts into place and I'm not an AC expert. So I really can't tell you a lot about what's what, but I guess I can kind of go over what I know. So as you can see, I've already gotten started. Uh, there's really not a lot of components to an AC system. So if you have a compressor, which we did, there's only a couple components that you really need to make this work. You need the hose that goes right here, loops around, you know, the hose that always lays on your intake and screws your intake up. Yeah, that one. And yes, uh, you will notice that I don't have the insulation around this hose. It is what it is. I'm not too concerned about it. And then this leads into your dryer. So this is your dryer right here. And uh, it essentially has two tabs right here that it bolts to. And that's it. I mean, you, you hook this up and you screw it in right here into your evaporator that goes inside of your car. Screw that on, make sure your seals are good. And then there's one right here below it. And this is gonna go to your condenser. So you're gonna have a long line that comes out and comes up into the condenser. Now I've not put the condenser in the car yet. Uh, you don't even have to take your radiator out. Undo these right here, kind of lean everything forward and you can slide that condenser in there behind there. Not a lot to these AC systems. I mean, even if you didn't have anything, it wouldn't be that hard to do. You literally get your HVAC box and start hooking these few little components up and you should be good to go. In this video, I'm gonna include some of the footage that I had uh, before the reveal. I shot a lot of video before the reveal explaining to you guys what all I did to get the car ready. I saved that footage until now. So what I'm gonna do is show you guys what it was that I had to do. So here's that footage right now. I tried to get on LMR site uh, last night and order the center caps or find out when I could order them. You know, they're talking about September the 30th before they're back in stock. It's no big deal at all. We just gotta get this thing done. So uh, obviously the caster camera plates are a must. And uh, I just went ahead and bolted the hood back on for now. So the hood doesn't have any clear coat on it. And for those of you wondering, the thing was just tiger striping on me, like really bad. So we got it on, it is what it is. It'll work for now until I can get it resprayed. So I've done a few more things to the car. As you can see, I've got the tinted headlights in. They look pretty good. They're, they weren't my first choice, but I needed headlights and everybody was sold out. So that's what we got. And I'm kind of digging them. Uh, as far as this side of the car goes, now you can see the molding. We have all that on looks good i went ahead and sprayed all this trim up here so now all of that is now black put everything on put the mirror on quarter glass needs to be like fully bolted down but other than that guys we are uh we're in the short rows so the spoiler has to be mounted i need gaskets i need like the seals the gaskets that go on the spoiler if anybody knows where i can pick those up from let me know got to seal up that trunk i can't let this thing leak down through those holes and rust out the back of the car so that's gonna have to be done plus i have to wet sand and buff the deck lid i'm not done that yet so that's got to still come off i'm going to take the door locks out we're going to paint those black all right so anyway let's go over here and look at a few things that we've got now i'm not going to open up all these packages but i just want to show you this and we'll run through it real quick so in this box we have our bezel this is a five speed bezel because you know we are we are running the boot so we need this bezel here to complete things uh in this box is just a i think it's an ac knob yeah it's the select control knob for the car because uh that one is missing this is the uh, hardware kit for the cal and i went ahead and sprung for a cup holder console so you know it is what it is i didn't get the 2.0 version these were cheaper so I just went with that. This works fine. And uh, down here we have carpet, we have floor mats, and we have rear hatch carpet. So that's it, guys. I don't know how much more video we're going to do before, you know, we do the reveal. There may be this video. I may split it up. There may be another video. I don't know yet. But uh, either way, I'm going to go ahead, get this cowling on the car, get this thing washed and cleaned up. Quick little update. Uh, I've had to do a few more things to the car. I was going to call it quits today. So I don't know if this is going to be in this video or the next. I was... I don't know what I was thinking. We had no provisions for windshield wipers. I think this car was LS swapped. All this was cut out. So I had to do something for right now. And this is not permanent, but uh, you can't really see it. But uh, I think you can see these two rivets right here. Basically, I had to go to the donor car and just cut this section out right here and lay it over and rivet it in and then hook everything up 
because we had no windshield wipers. It is what it is. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's like I told you guys before. If you ain't rigging, you ain't riding. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. We do have the antenna uh, installed. So, uh, you know, it's all the little things. I still have to get the fog lights installed. I think that's about it as far as exterior. Obviously, we got to, you know, respray the hood and clear coat it. I painted uh, all the door locks so they're black. I just wanted that black look you know i don't want anything shiny like that so buffed the uh the back of the deck lid right here because it was pretty rough looking i uh, still have to buff the top of the deck lid but we'll get to that at some point but man she is looking good guys she is looking so good i was hoping the sun would come out again we'll kind of hang around here until the sun comes out because i really want you guys to see this thing in the sunlight and there it is guys so pretty much exactly the way i envisioned this car obviously minus the the center caps and uh, getting the stance just right but guys that's it you knew it had to happen had to put the wheels on the car and this is what we're going to rock for a little while until we get our other wheel situation figured out so hey i must admit this looks pretty damn good this whole windshield wiper thing is just temporary i can promise you now how temporary i don't know i mean i may run it for a couple months for a year or whatever but um it will at some point have to be all cut and welded. So here is the monstrosity under the hood. And man, I tell you, to be honest with you guys, I was so aggravated at the time. I didn't even cut this crap straight. I didn't care. I just needed some extra. I knew I needed extra, you know, everywhere. So I just cut it a little big and here we go. But you know what? It works. And sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I knew that I was not gonna stop this project. I was not gonna stop this build to cut this stuff out get it all welded up, respray all of this. I knew I didn't have time for that. So we did what we had to do. You know what? They work just fine. Tell you what, I'll just go ahead and show you guys right here. So see, no issues there. So you know what? That's all that matters, right? Everything works. I'm gonna go ahead and get this condenser in and try to put, I think I have one can of Freon. We'll stick that in there, see if we can get the compressor to kick on, see if we have any problems anywhere else. All right, guys, as you can see, the condenser is in and uh, didn't even have to pull the radiator. Probably not the best way to do it, probably best to go ahead and pull your radiator give yourself some room but i kind of wanted to show you guys that it can be done this way so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and put the brackets on bolt everything up and i will get back to you guys just as soon as we get that done max ac fan all right we're going to go ahead and try to charge this up everything's in the radiator's sitting a little a little crazy i'm gonna have to adjust on that but also i want to uh talk real quick about the the, the noises that this engine makes I had a couple people mention that it sounded really tired and sounded like it was knocking and this and that. Uh, the engine's fine. The pulley up there is actually bent and it causes it to squeak and knock a little bit. So, um, well, it doesn't cause it to squeak, but the pulley squeaks and it knocks. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm not telling you that this engine is perfect. It needs a tune-up and it very well may be a little low on compression, but uh, seems to be just fine. Let's see if we can get this compressor to kick on with one can of Freon. Typically, you can but we'll see. Guys, check it out. Look at that. Yes. I'm telling you, I couldn't be happier right now. The air conditioner didn't work in the uh, convertible, so, you know, it was a crapshoot. I'm impressed. That means all the wiring's good and everything else. It may leak down and it may not cool that good, but the point is, we have a working AC system or a complete AC system that we can now work on. I'm happy, guys. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish filling this up and I will let you guys know uh, if it's actually cooling any at all. We actually have cold AC. I, I just, I'm blown away. I'm so damn excited right now, you guys just have no clue. So originally it was only blowing out of the bottom, but um, there's a vacuum line under the hood and I found it unplugged. So I made me a quick vacuum line, tied everything in, 
and now look at this everything works it swaps around defrost man i'm telling you this thing is coming together and i i could not be any more proud i don't know if you can see it on my face or not as you can see uh, this is the vacuum line i had to make And there again, that noise is the pulley that you're hearing. So, so the engine's fine. That's just that pulley making all that racket. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching.